Welcome to Discover the Basics podcast from Mastery Learning Systems. This podcast series includes specific tips on how to deliver a given lesson, as well as general Mastery Learning Systems principles and techniques. The series will enable you to get the most out of the classroom and tutoring tested math intervention materials found in the Discover the Basics books. This is session number one from the Squares, Roots, and Exponents text, The Square Maker. Make sure everyone has a copy of the Square Maker in two blank pieces of paper. With you modeling your instructions for the class, ask the students to cover all but the top two boxes with two pieces of paper. You write two on the board. Ask them to move one of the blank papers down to show two rows of two and write a second two on the board. How many boxes are there altogether? Write equals four on the board as they tell you. Ask them what math sign should go between the twos. It could be adding or multiplying at this point. The next problems will clarify which way we're going. Now ask the students to move their papers to show this many across and this many down as you write the threes on the board. Ask them, how many is that all together? Which sign should we use now? Now ask them to trace their hand around the outside of the boxes. What shape is that? We just constructed 3 squared. Then ask them to construct 4 squared as you write two fours on the board. Ask them how much is that all together? Again, what sign should we use? Then ask them how many fours are there? That's why we can write 4 squared with the superscript 2. Continue constructing and experiencing together 5 through 10 squared. It may be tempting to shortcut the process doing only a few of these thinking they must have it now. Taking the time now to do it right is the shortcut over the long run. What if a few students do not know say 6 squared but they do know 5 squared? They can construct 6 squared then cover 5 squared with the color transparency. Touch the transparency and say 25. Then add on the number of boxes not covered to find how much 6 squared is. In this way they use what they know to find the answer to what they don't know. They can now use this approach and their knowledge of 6 squared to discover 7 squared. Students are able now to construct 11 squared through 15 squared on the square maker as they develop a clear amount sense. Have the students construct and count 11 squared. Add the large box of 100, the vertical and horizontal single rows of 10, and the single box in the corner. 100 plus 10 is 110, plus 10 is 120, plus 1 is 121. 11 squared is 121. Let's do 14 squared. 100 plus 40 is 140, plus 40 is 180, plus 16 is 196. 14 squared is 196. We have seen students and teachers quickly internalize the square maker and mentally construct these and squares not on the graphic, such as 16 squared and 17 squared. They simply extend the model. Students can construct and figure out roots on the square maker. You've been watching a podcast in the Discover the Basics series. View the other podcasts in the series to get the most out of the Discover the Basics materials. For more ideas and materials, check out our website, www.masterylearningsystems.com. We hope these ideas are helpful and we welcome your feedback. Thank you for watching.